Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we're talking about our F2 HP package. Before we go to the Mustang Dyno, show you guys the massive gains out of this truck, we wanna show you guys the plastic and rubber pieces that your trucks all come equipped with and show you what we're upgrading to. What is an F2 HP package? It's as simple as this. We take all the rubber and plastic components off your truck and we upgrade to a popping kit. So we're replacing these parts with our popping kit, right? First off, what are the components on the truck that are plastic and electronic? First item we have here is an intake manifold for the turbocharger. It simply allows air to come in here, flows out through here, your turbocharger has fresh air. This is made out of cast aluminum. Does a great job. The whole entire thing as a unit does not fail, but it has a piece here, take a look at it. It has an electronically controlled actuator. This is a throttle valve. Its job is simply as this, create vacuum inside of the system. That way the engine gets fresher air because it created a vacuum and the engine has to struggle to pull it in. Clears out all the exhaust gases. This electronic actuator here, it will put you on the side of the road. If it fails or malfunctions, your truck is shut down. So that's the reason why this whole unit has assembly can put your truck on the side of the road. So the next thing is intake manifold. What's the job of the intake manifold? Well, your turbocharger just produced a bunch of boost pressure. It needs to get it in, put it to each cylinder. The unfortunate part about it, equipped on your Ford Power Strokes, you hear that, they're plastic. What happens when you mix hot air and you pressurize it? You get a lot of heat and pressure and it'll blow this dude apart. Another failure point. Moving on, your cold side intercooler pipe. Most of the time, you don't ever see any of the diesels with rubber components, but unfortunately, your Ford Power Stroke has a rubber cold side intercooler pipe. It attaches right here. Now, your intake temps can get up to 120, 130 degrees. What happens when you superheat rubber? Boom, it explodes in half. You're on the side of the road. The family is pissed. The vacation is over. Now, final component. This is a fun one right here throttle valve adapter. So this attaches the rubber to it. These little guys right here, they'll hang on for dear life. They attach to the throttle valve. They're held in there with a the C-clip. You're going up a mountain, creating all this boost pressure. The rubber boot doesn't fail, but this little guy lets go. And when he does, it's boom. And I've seen them come up, hit the hood of the truck, all hell breaks loose and oils everywhere. So guys, these are the failure points in your Ford Power Stroke. Now, what are we replacing them with? So what's the components in our F2 HP package? Well, we've got an F2 laid out here. It's powder coated white, easy for you guys to see the difference. The first thing we talked about was the air intake flowing air to the turbocharger. That's crucial, why? Right? Because you want to make as much power as possible. Check this out. Four inch intake from out here, all the way flowing to the turbocharger. Don't take my word for it. Check it out over the factory. You can see that it's way bigger, four inches versus three and a half. This dude will allow as much air as possible to the factory turbocharger as you'll ever need. We know because we've tested it. Next thing, the plastic intake manifold. When it gets hot, when the boost pressure comes on, we've seen them dudes crack in half. Check this out. We call this the Y bridge. You've got your driver side here, passenger side here. It's all stainless steel powder coated, welded up. It's attached here with a vibrant banjin clamp. We've tested this. We know this guy holds up. You can see for yourself. Stainless here, plastic there. This will do circles around the plastic unit. When you're making power, that's what you have to have. Next component. This is the good one, right? The family's piston on the side of the road. This right here is buckled up, ready for war. Three inch, all the way from the intercooler pipe, all the way up to the Y bridge. So which one are you gonna trust whenever you're making power? You're gonna make it in a rubber boot, you're on the dyno and it blows up, it's a bad day, right? Or you're all in the family, so no brainer there. The last component, the most crucial one, right? You set this guy down here, the throttle valve adapter. 
We do not use a throttle valve adapter, but we do use a five ply silicone boot to attach all these connections. We do have the vibrant Vanjin clamp up top. We love those, it makes them easier to put these kits on and off. Five ply versus the one to two ply out of the factory. I don't even know because you can't hardly see the ribs in it. So that's the biggest components difference from the factory to an F2 HP package. I'm gonna run this one at fifth. Oh, it's not. It's yeah. Two to 28. See if we can get power out of it and not lug it down. Two to 28, no load. You ready? Take a look at the graph, the truck just laid down 528 rubble horsepower and 1,054 foot-pounds of torque. Now hold up, that's not all this F2 has in store for making its peak power, but we go about each truck as this. The dyno will load the truck in a certain manner based upon weight. I will come back in and I will add load to the dyno if the truck is making low power or low boost. Take a look at the EasyLink data. The truck just laid this down at 30 pounds of boost. We know this truck can make more boost. We've seen upward of 38, 40 pounds out on the street. So how are we gonna get more power out of this truck? Well, anytime we add air, then fuel comes along, we should make more power. I'm gonna tell the dyno to put more of a load on this truck. In turn, the truck should make more boost. We should add more fuel to it and it makes more power. Let's run it again. Taking a look at the graph, we ended up with 549 rural horsepower and 1,061 foot pound of torque. Guys, we achieved that on the stock turbocharger with just a popping kit. Super impressed out of the F2 HV package. How do we deliver that? Well, we told the dyno to put more load to the truck, I mean basically give it resistance. The truck came up on boost, 34 pounds. We'll put the easy link data up for you. The truck fueled to that 34 pounds of boost and delivered that 549 rubble horsepower out of the factory turbocharger and just a popping kit. We're impressed with these trucks. We battled with the L5P, trying to make that big power, and these trucks will put up a good fight. Guys, if you own a Ford Power Stroke, the 17 through 21s, we'd love to hear from you. If you put a popping kit on it, you've been on the dyno, drop us a comment below. We wanna hear about the horsepower, the torque that you guys made. Make for sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next week here at Point Blank Performance.
some changes.